realistic, unclackable 13 by 6 on. You can't tell me nothing, baby. And it's beginner friendly. Ooh. We. And again, this is a glueless 13 by 6 So as you guys can see, I showed you guys how to set everything up. And you're going to have a nice, very nice, realistic glueless unit. All right, guys. So we are back today with another hair video. Shout out to MyFirstWigs.com for sponsoring today's video. It's been quite some time since I've collaborated with MyFirstWigs. You guys know that when I first started doing hair videos, this company was the first company to reach out to me and believe in me. So shout out to you guys. You guys have been really, really um, there for me along my journey. So this unit that I'm showing you guys today is their new kinky straight unit. So this is the pre-everything unit, guys. It comes with a pre-cut lace. It comes with everything bleached and all that kind of stuff. So this is a 13 by 6 lace wig cap guys So you guys can see there is a lot of parting space on this unit right here They did a really really good job with the parting space They also bleached this unit as well for you guys and another thing they did was actually tweeze the hair as well So this is the front guys the hairline is super super natural on this one. It is 16 inches long So this unit I'm gonna go ahead and keep it very simple today guys probably do a really cute updo style I'm a medium to average cap size head. So this unit should actually fit my head perfectly um this is my first wigs first time rolling out with these pre everything units guys and you guys know these units are beginner friendly so if you are an amateur if you've never worn a wig before in your life definitely check out some of their units but this unit right here will be specifically perfect for you guys so this does come in a side part you guys know i love a good side part so i'm gonna go ahead and get my tools and we're gonna go ahead and install this one this is the same day install guys a shake and go unit so it's gonna be very very simple and let me show you how to do it. all right y'all so this is the wig the wig is actually pretty secure in my head i did adjust the hooks in the back and i feel like adjusting the hooks in the back definitely worked really really well i do feel like the band that they have on here is a little bit loose um but other than that i adjusted everything as much as i could and it's actually pretty secure so obviously i have like a little bit of an ear tab section here that's a little bit too long so all i'm gonna do is go ahead and cut that part off it's not necessary to have that i'm not gonna cut any sideburns or anything into the wig so you guys kind of see how that folds over over perfectly like that in a, like a little shape like that I'm literally just gonna cut in that direction and cut that little piece of ear tab down guys just to make it fit my hair a little bit better so yeah so I'm just gonna cut that off and as you guys can see it's gonna fall perfectly now and you can actually go ahead look at that so now it'll lay a little bit better if you want to go ahead and cut a little bit extra let that lace you can um, so I'll probably just cut a little bit more and this will just have the wig lay even flatter on the side so you don't have to use any glue. It's like completely glueless. So you can go ahead and you know, just tuck a little hair back there and then you're good to go. So you just gonna do it that way just to avoid having to glue this unit down and just to wear it glueless. So that's one thing that we can already say is a plus. If you want to go ahead and cut a little baby hair into it, we can do that. But I'm gonna show you another way to do it where you're not making really baby you're just gonna pull this this way just to kind of disguise it and just trim it a little bit so we'll do that after but i want to show you guys just to kind of customize it when you get out the pack and if it's just a little bit too long on the sideburn ears you're just going to trim it lightly um you're going to cut that little ear tab section off to make it fit better and you're not really i feel like people get scared just because i'm cutting some of the hair i mean it's not really that much hair you're just cutting like the ear tab section so yeah I wish I would have used one of the clips they sent me, but you know, me, I'd be forgetting. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here. It's just an extra piece of hair that we don't need. Like we don't need that extra section of hair. So I'm just gonna cut it off like that. And again, it's cut perfect, so therefore you won't get any of that noticeable look. So what I'm gonna do is just trim a little bit of the pre-cutness. You guys know I like to trim it down a little bit. Some people like to keep a little bit of that hair. I mean that hair, that lace there because they want to do baby hairs and they sometimes need something to hold the baby hairs down. But it is not necessary for me because I will not be doing baby hairs. I'm just going to go ahead and customize the size a little bit just for disguising purposes um, to give you guys a little bit of ways to make it look really, really natural without gluing it down. So, so that's it. So now it fits perfect, guys. You see how quick that was? So now it fits perfect. We're gonna go ahead and just customize like some little wispies on the side. Not baby hair, guys. We're just gonna make it look cute and dainty. All right, y'all, so I got the hot comb and obviously you guys can see I pulled like some hair this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and glide my hot comb on top of that section. And I'm just basically kind of mold the hair to stay down or just to get that, that lace area right there to not lift up. I do this all the time. My first wigs has some really nice lace 
Uh, their lace is very delicate, so it could be easily manipulated with a little hot comb on it. If you're trying to not have them, the edges lift up, it kind of you know melts it in, as you guys can see. So that worked out. That was actually pretty easy. I'm not even going to spray the air. I'm just going to trim the hair up ever so lightly. Like I said, just to give a little fall over effect. If you decide to wear it up in like a little bun or something, you got like a little, you know, like a little, a little something on the side. Ain't got to be nothing crazy. And I'm just doing that again just to cover up some surfaces if you're afraid that the lace is gonna show in those areas. Give yourself like a little sideburn situation going on. Nothing too crazy. So, and as you guys can see again, you can't even see anything. So, it looks really realistic and there is no glue. So I can lift it up and lift it right back down with no issues whatsoever. So that's what I wanted to do as far as that, just to make sure that the wig lays flat, 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 flat. And again, if you wanna go ahead and do baby hairs like that, you can, but I'm not going to, cause just this texture just does not need that. Like, I just think you just need to pull a little bit of hair out like that, maybe a little one here right there, and then that's it. And it just gives more of a realistic look. Y'all feel me? Without doing too much. So with this one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a side part. It did come in a side part style. I think I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out lightly so that I can have more of like a wave. And we're just gonna keep it simple and just kind of, you know, go with the volume of the hair. The hair is very, very gorgeous, guys. I love a good kinky texture like this one. So again, this is a 13 by six, so it is a lot of party space. Like, look at that. And if you guys can see, the cap is nice tinted in my lace color. I did use the Red by Kisses a lace tinting spray for this, so you guys can see it matches my skin tone pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead with my hot comb. I think I kind of want it in that area, so I'm gonna start at the base right here, just to make sure that it flattens out. And you guys can see the hair is gorgeous. This texture takes the heat so well, and you're not losing too much of that uh, texture, so you still have the texture. All right, guys. So I found the parting space that I wanted. I kind of got the parting space to. All right guys, so I got the parting space opened up as much as I wanted to. So like I said, I do like the length. 16 inches is perfect for this one, so I'm not gonna go crazy. So what I'm gonna do is just split these sections right here so that I can get the hot comb to spread this part down for me and just kind of keep it pushing. I'm gonna go in with my blow dry straightener, my no, my blow dryer brush. And that was that's gonna go in and amplify the texture. I'm gonna try to uh, use a blow dryer to curl the hair underneath so we can kind of have like a wave. So that's the look I'm going for. I'm gonna keep it simple. I do like the texture. The hair is very nice. Gives more of like a realistic vibe to it. So I don't wanna kill that vibe. I just wanna amplify it up. So I'm just uh, hot combing this section right here to get this area to be less bulky and a little bit more sleek looking. So. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even gonna put any hairspray or anything because I don't want it to be stiff. I just want it to be a little bit less um, bulky in this area. And like I said, it's 13 by six, so you're getting a lot of party space with this unit. It's giving a lot of everything with this unit, so that's a plus, so yeah. So working on that, I don't think I'm gonna do too much of that. And then I'm gonna get my blow dryer brush and then we're gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna fast forward that part because it's super loud. So we're gonna go ahead and curl it underneath to give it more of a, you know, natural blowout type of look. So, yeah, so, so far, I love, love, love it. I think it's really, really nice. It just needs a little finishing touches. And you guys can see already, looks very, very realistic. So I ended up thinking, let me go ahead and try to give this like a little curl. So we're gonna try to give this like a little curl. It don't gotta be perfect. It just gotta be like a little bit of a something. Oh, and it worked out and we, oh God. And I don't even have no glue or nothing on that. That's cute. I actually did cut like a little bit of hair out of this section too. So let's go ahead and see what that's giving if I curl that one as well too. I'm gonna just cut a little bit more right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl that. And guys, I'm not even using any product on the hair. I'm literally just curling the hair up and then just making like a baby hair. Okay. All right. This one's not giving us a, a, a vibe like the other one, but it's definitely giving a little vibe. Okay, I think I like that too. You don't even have to put nothing on it. All 
Alright y'all, so after blow drying the unit, I decided to go ahead and add some light curls to it. Now remember, this is a kinky texture unit guys, so the curls aren't going to be like a held really, really tightly, but you do get a very, very nice definitive style. So this is what I got guys, the 16 inches on this unit is absolutely gorgeous. I did go ahead and trim the ends just a little bit guys, just to make it more kind of like shoulder length. I absolutely love this texture guys, and again, this is a glueless 13 by 6 so as you guys can see, I showed you guys how to set everything up and you're going to have a nice, very nice, realistic glueless unit. Obviously, I did leave a little bit of sideburns right here. I kind of left it kind of like wispy in a way just because I don't want it to be too perfect. Just to make this look really, really natural if you want to tuck it behind your ear. Obviously, this unit is stunning, guys. And I did add like a light layer in the front so the curl and the bang area just gives you like a little bit of a feathered look, guys. So very, very simple. So one thing I will say is that the unit does curl. It's not going to give you like a candy curl. If you want to go ahead and use a wand curler, a wand curler will probably give you more of like a ringlet curl. But the hair does have a nice texture to it, guys. You guys can see how lovely this is. I'm actually really, really happy with this one, guys. I've always done reviews on Kinky Straight Hair, but I've never gone in and tried to curl it or style it a certain type of way. I feel like this way looks very, very natural. So if you're a natural girl that has hair that really mimics this length, this texture, this type of fullness, this is definitely a perfect protective style, guys. You cannot tell me that this unit is not mine, or this hair isn't mine, because it looks very nice. Now look at that lace right here guys. The lace is very very realistic. Look at that guys. I can lift this unit up, put it back down and you want to be able to tell that this is a wig. Very very nice. I like how they went ahead and tweezed the hairline guys. So the hairline looks very nice. You don't have to go ahead and do any extras to this one. The unit actually comes pre-bleached and everything like that. So it's a perfect 13 by 6. You don't got to do anything to it. I'm actually very, very happy with this unit, guys. I'm happy with the fact that it's glueless. And I can go ahead and just pop it on and pop it off. So what I did do was set on the mannequin head just to kind of see what it gave. And once I put on my head, I was like, you know what, honey? The curls definitely amped it up. Obviously, if you want to wear it straight, I showed you guys when I blew, blew it out with my... Uh, blow dryer brush and it did come out pretty nice but I was like you know what let's add a little razzle to it so I just put some curls in it on the mannequin head just because I found it easier to do it that way and show you guys how simple it is so this is it guys this is the final look very glamorous very fresh definitely a nice springtime unit I do like the units a little bit short on this size so 16 inches is a perfect length I wouldn't get 18 I feel like 16 gave what it needed to give you guys to see the fullness the body and just absolutely realistic unclockable 13 by 6 on you can't tell me nothing baby and it's beginner friendly Ooh. So as usual guys, I will leave all the information down below if you're interested in purchasing this unit from MyFirstWigs.com guys. Super happy with this one. If there's a coupon code, that coupon code will be down below as well too guys. Thank you all for stopping by and watching today's video and I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.